Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about stock or shares. So to understand this concept, let us consider a scenario. You have a big company here. Now this company wants to grow and it is in need of a lot of money. So how will this company get money? Well, it can get money from the public, right? So what this company can do is that it can allow a lot of people to become co-owners of this company. In other words, many many people can invest money in this company and become the part owners of this company. So we have the company and we have the public, lot of people. Now this company splits its stock capital. Well, the stock capital is the amount of money that is needed to run this company. So it splits its stock capital into small units called as shares. Right. And people buy these shares for some amount. Right. Stock and share basically mean the same thing. Now, suppose some person invests in a company that means he buys some shares of that company he becomes the shareholder of that company okay and this shareholder for his investment gets a certificate called as a share certificate so let us look at terms related to shares so a share has basically two values one is face value another is called market value now what is face value well the other terms for face value is nominal value or par value so a face value of any share is the value of that share when it was first issued by the company. Basically the first cost price of the share. Right. Now what is market value? Well market value is the value of a share when it is sold or bought in a market, in a share market. So market value is the value at which basically the share is sold. Now market value of a share can be at premium, at par or below par or at discount. Okay. Now what is the market value at premium? Well the market value is set to be at premium when it is greater than the face value. Right. The market value is set to be at par when it is equal to the face value. Right. And the market value is set to be at, at discount or below par when it is less than the face value of the share okay now there's another term associated with stock and shares and that is called dividend now what is dividend well dividend is the annual profit that you get on your investment while you buy the shares the company pays you some profit annually because you bought their shares okay now sometimes there are brokers or agents involved when you purchase the shares of a company so these agents do not work for free obviously so you need to give them some brokerage so the brokers charge is called brokerage it is given in percentages and when the stock is purchased the brokerage is added to the cost price and when the stock is sold you need to subtract the brokerage from the selling price now before we go ahead and solve some questions let us look at some points that you need to remember so the first point is that the face value of any share always remains the same. It is the market value which keeps changing from time to time. right? And when you calculate dividend, you always calculate it on the face value. right? Now, what is the formula for calculating the number of shares? Well, let me write it for you. So the number of shares bought is equal to the total investment made divided by the investment made on one share. Well, it is also equal to the total income upon the income on one share right now there's one more formula it is also equal to the total face value divided by the face value of one share and that gives you the number of shares let us now solve a problem so the question is a person purchased 7200 rupees 8 percent stock at 90 what is the face value market value dividend and the investment made well, this part of the question seems a little bit confusing, right? Well, let me rewrite what this sentence exactly means. So, a person 
purchased rupees 7200 worth of stock at 8% dividend. So this 8% is actually the percentage of the dividend. That means the rate of the dividend paid on the face value. Well, what is the face value? Basically, the face value is the worth of the stock. So 7200 is the face value of all shares. Right. Now, what is this 90? Well, this 90 is basically the market value. So the market value I can write of all shares is equals to it's actually the 90% of the face value. When it is just given like this, just a number, it is actually the percentage of the face value. Right. So 90% of the face value that's 7200. Right. So I can replace this off by a multiplication. These hundreds and these two zero gets cancelled out. 90 times 72 and that's 6480 rupees. So that's the market value of the shares. Now the rate of the dividend is 8% and dividend is always calculated on the face value. So we can calculate the dividend on all the shares is equal to actually dividend is also called as the profit or the annual income derived on the face value. So it is equal to it is 8% of the face value. So it is 8 upon 100 times the face value that's 7200. Cancelling out the zeros 8 times 72 and that is rupees 576. Okay now let's answer each one of these terms asked in the question. So what is the face value? So this is the face value 7200. What is the market value? Market value is 6480. The dividend we've just calculated that's 576 and what is the investment made? That means what is the amount this person paid to buy this stock? And stock is always bought at the market price, right? The shares are always bought in the share market. So the amount invested is the market value of all the shares and that's 6480.